What's going on guys? It is incredibly busy over here at the shop. And I'll tell you what, we have so much going on between the deliveries, the builds, the new things that we're trying, painting the showroom, making things look better, that uh, it's just absolutely wild. Well, we have Sean and Conrad. Sean and Conrad are gonna be heading out over to California because they're gonna be uh, updating one of our previous customer simulators. Just a couple videos ago, you guys saw that Sean and Conrad went out to California, out to Sandy's, and they installed a static simulator. Well, Sandy got on the phone, he called me up and said, hey, Lawrence, I actually want to try motion. Conrad was talking about it, he said it's incredibly cool. I want to give motion a shot and see what that feels like. And so I was like, Sandy, no problem, let's do it. What we decided we were going to do is put the uh, PT actuator, the 3 uh motion kit on it. It's got six inches of travel. Now, six inches of travel is a lot. And then a lot of people, they say, well, that's more than what you use. And yes, of course it is. But the thing about racing simulators is you don't actually feel G-force. G-force isn't something that we replicate because we're not moving enough and we don't actually sustain Gs. So by having a, a, a motion kit that moves more than an inch and a half like D-Box, and something that moves more than that, we can actually really replicate some of these feelings of like hills and curves and, and crests over hills and, and things like that by making the motion a little bit more. I'll tell you what, if you were to sit in a motion simulator that had six inches of motion versus one that just had an inch and a half, you would have your mind blown at how good the six inch motion platform has. Now, keep in mind, you're not moving six inches up and six inches down. I guess you could at some point when it's all the way at its lowest and all of its height. But at the middle point, it's three inches up, three inches down. And the reason why is because it's six inches of total stroke. And so when the motion platform actually activates, it sits right at the midway point at the three inch level. So you have three inches up, three inches down. So if you're going over a crest, you, in theory, you could go from six inches at the top all the way down to the bottom. You'll feel that, uh, that bump. So that's exactly what uh, Sean and Conrad, they are doing in this video. They're going to be installing that onto Sandy's rig. So let's watch them do it and take care of that. Quick interruption to the video, you guys, to tell you that if you want to get parts for your simulator or you want us to build you a custom simulator, that is exactly what we do. If you send me a text at 702-246-2295, we can have a conversation and see exactly which parts are needed to fit your needs and get you guys on the podium. All right, back to the video. What's going on, guys? We're back in LA. We are back at Sandy's house. We're gonna install some actuators. We have them right here. We're also gonna replace his monitor stand as well. Uh, I guess he liked the simulator so much you want an upgrade and uh, yeah, we'll see you when we do it Check it out Simulator still there Got Conrad setting up the monitor stand already We'll be putting these new actuators like that we got here on this box. It's gonna be sick. It's gonna be awesome. Here we are, finish the simulator, boom, new actuators, boom, new uh, monitor setup, and uh, that's about it. And I don't know what else to say. And Conrad's taking a call. 